All right, so we're inside Godot. Uh, this is a new scene. Uh, this is just a fresh, what is fresh file or fresh uh, project file, I should say. And I just added a camera with some a movement input. And then don't forget to check the current so the camera is active. Now let's just add our tile tile map. All right, you can just search for tile map over there and then click on the tile set, new tile set, and then click on the tile set itself drag the tile that you want to create or the image uh, texture of your tile and then uh, click on the new single tile and then yes that's pretty easy it's already added into the tile map now don't forget to use the paint tile don't use the bucket fill because it will do nothing but if you use this one then you can just paint paint on the tile map however as, as you might notice in this case the cell is not correctly sized so the image texture that i have is 32 by 32 and then yeah, i just fill out the whole area i think i'm gonna fill out all the viewport so in this case uh the viewport is indicated by the i don't know is that purple or no purple is this one but i think that's more like a cyan dude i'm bad with color so yeah i don't know what it is so just fill in so that's what we do don't forget to save and then let's just try to uh, move around okay so that's the thing however as you might notice over here we don't really have um, it's not infinite tiling and how to make it infinite first you need to make a parallax layer parallax background I should say and then you put another node oh I'm using control a by the way to create uh, what is it uh, to add a new node and then parallax layer and then put the uh, the tile map into the parallax layer underneath the parallax layer so it become the child of the parallax layer so basically what you need to do is to calculate the width right so let's go back to the calculator thing I should not close it so yeah calculator so it should be like 33 right so it should be 32 times 33 so it's 1056 and then it is 10 oops oh it's not the, the mirror this one 1056 and then for the height is 20 so i think it's pretty easy 20 times 32 is just 640 and 640 all right as you can see that this tile is now tiling right now if you just run a game and i'm gonna keep pressing i'm gonna keep pressing right so there you go we have the infinite tiles right so it will not end because it will keep drawing when the uh, when the camera show the next uh i don't know 10 24 uh to the right right and then yeah if you go left it's also going to be infinite just trust me on this one if you want to keep on going it's all up to you right but i think that's enough just to prove that it's actually infinite next up is just to create different type of texture on top of the this one i add a parallax layer oh and by the way you should not what is it set the scale or the offset i think well i don't know about the offset maybe we can just set it but in this case the scale you should not meddling around with it because if you put it like 0.8 it will like make a parallax scrolling which what you don't you don't want it and then oh i just duplicated the parallax layer there next up is i want to create a uh, textured no not texture but color rect right so this is actually create a tiling white background but i think you need to set it to a little bit larger so i'm gonna turn off the mirroring first so you, we can see it clearer so go to the rack and this one i think i'm gonna set it to 2000 and then maybe one 1000 right so it's actually covering a larger area and then you should set the mirroring to this size so 2000 and 1000 in the material you can just go and create a shader over here click on it uh, you see nothing yet nothing happened yet and then create a new visual shader click it and then set the mode to canvas item and that's it we can work on our shader so i'm using visual shader because i'm not familiar with the written shader i'm trying to learn about it but from now for now i think i'm just gonna use the visual shader because it is a lot easier to understand just right click to add a note um oops just 
Let me search for texture. Uh, texture uniform and then uh, drag the RGB, what do you call that, point to the other so what do you call this one? Connector, yeah, I think. And then we just name it like noise texture. And then in the shader parameters over here, I don't know how, is there any a better way of doing it? Because I need to go, if I want to edit, uh, I need to go to the material. Maybe you can just use this one. Oh, actually there is that way. I just learned it right now. And then you need to create the noise texture, you know, by clicking on this drop down menu and then new new noise texture. Nothing in it yet because you haven't generated any noise. And then put something on the noise, uh, click on the new open simplex noise. And there you go. As you can see, there is a what a seam. Yeah, uh, you need to put uh, you need to check on the seamless. Where's the seamless? There you go. So there is no seam that is visible. All right. Pretty cool. Now, what should we do here? You can just uh, edit some of the uh, value, you know, looks good. And then you can just go back to the visual shader. Now, I think this is just a personal preference. I want to edit the UV. So uh, I want to stretch the texture out, texture up, stretch it out, stretch it up, stretch it out. I don't know. Uh, by multiplying the, the UV by how much let's see so now right now the uv is multiplied by zero which is not looking good all right so if it is getting the value is higher it means that the uh what is it oh actually i shouldn't do that because it will not it will not be seamless anymore all right okay i make a mistake i'm stupid i'm sorry i think we're just gonna uh add it on <laughs> What a mistake right there. Just gonna edit on this one. Right. Does it look better? Dude, I don't know. But yeah, okay. So, what's next, right? That's uh, the question. You have this noise, and then what's next? Uh, I think you need to also set the alpha to the color, right? And then it will become transparent. The black will the the alpha value of the black will become zero and white will become a one so alpha only achieve uh, was it receive like float from zero to one or scalar in terms of uh, shader language now because my level is done in pixel art there should that should uh, there should not be a like smooth transition right so you can just round the the vector or the rgb value so what this does is what this does is uh, it make the um, the number set from it's if it is closer to zero it will set to zero if it is closer to one it will set to one so the middle is 0 0.5 while if it is 0 0.4 it will round it up down to zero well if it is 0 0.6 then it will round it up to one i think you can also do this to the alpha and then you can see there is uh the alpha is gone now it's transparent now we don't want the color to be white we want the color to be whatever we want so we just add more variable in this case uh color color uniform because we want to edit it and then can you say noise color and then we multiply that color into our alpha not alpha but our white value in this case so oh, okay by the way if you yeah right i think i made a mistake here just to, to show you what the mistake is so there is uh there's still some like transition here and there right i don't know if you notice it in your monitor but i can see it there is actually like smooth transition still because i connected the pre-rounded value so instead of doing that which is a stupid thing to do you just put the rounded value don't forget to do that All right so now it's looking crisp looking really really pixel artsy you know what i'm saying and then uh yeah now let's add the color uh like i told you we need to add the vector operation multiply and then drag the color into before we go uh set the color we should uh use the texture to multiply the the noise color so the noise color will multi uh what is it will be multiplied by the the white uh colored texture or in the noise texture Dude, I know a bad explanation, but it's pretty simple though. Right, there you go. 
Oh, why does it turn black? Because the noise color in the inspector over here in the shader parameters is still black. So you can just set it to what co whatever color you want. We actually have the noise texture right now. And we don't, if we uh, want to change the alpha now, we want to set the alpha. We can just try uh, scalar uniform and then we just call it alpha and we should um, add should I add? I forgot alright I'm stupid right it's actually you should not add it but it should be multiply why am I thinking that it, is, it should a little bit harder than that but hey it's <laughs> sometimes the simplest explanation is the simplest uh, thing right or the, the, the correct answer I should say so you can set the alpha off the noise by you know dragging sliding or whatever you do with the number over here right and maybe a little bit something like that All right just to put some finishing touch maybe you can just uh, add some environment and then maybe put a little contrast in it and so yeah I don't don't was it uh, background and then I set it to canvas uh, I don't care about the energy and maybe to the aces right so that's basically what I did with the yeah with the background if you want to add more adjustment here and there it's all up to you it's all depends on the mood that you want to achieve but in this case I think I already achieved it and let's run it and take a look if it's infinitely tiling and also there is no seam or seamless I should say yes as you might see it's all seamless and looking great right so all right so here is the example of the uh, the usage of the background in my game uh, the implementation which is uh, why am I saying I should say so a lot yeah I should change that so these is some of uh, was the implementation in real game and now yeah the enemy is spawned and then I'm just gonna shoot them and so on and so forth and yeah and I just put like a little bit cherry on top or just a little bit polish in it so basically this is the same technique but I'm using two different type of noise and move the UV to the left I think if I'm not mistaken and then yeah so it creates like this living I don't know shadow or mist or whatever I actually name the node mist and just put it and so yeah it's and here's how it look in the game right so I think it's pretty cool uh, hope you use this technique in your game and let me know what you have made with this technique and uh, if you're curious about what game am I, am I playing now it's a game that I'm uh, developing now and if you want to support yeah just subscribe maybe right and leave a like or do whatever with your life you know I don't really want to tell you what to do and so yeah, hey, keep making games. And my name is Sato Fidangara from Little Striker. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next tutorial.